Hi, Clint Brown from CADLINE. I'm going to quickly show you some of these enhancements that have been made to iLogic in the 2018.1 release. Inventor 2018 brought out some really cool enhancements to security and the 2018.1 release now includes the ability to run external rules as event triggers. Let's have a look at how this works. So if we have a look on our manage tab and we go over to the event triggers, you'll see that we have our security options at the top over here. And you can read more about this on my previous blog on Inventor 2018.1 iLogic Security Enhancements. If we have a look at the event triggers, we can see that we can add an event trigger uh, at different stages of a document's life. And we can choose to add external rules. So I have an external rule called Clint. And if we go and look at this rule, you'll see there's just a message box that pops up and says, your iLogic rule has been run successfully. So what I can do is I can add this to different documents. So for instance, I could stick that onto New Document. And we could say before we save the document, stick that on there. As a note, be very careful. I don't suggest that you run rules after you save a document because that'll actually dirty a file. So particularly if you're using Vault, uh, you might check a file in and release it and then try and run a rule afterwards and uh, you can't actually complete the edit. So bear that in mind. So I've added these two rules in those two situations. So this is what happens. When I hit save, my rule is run. If I create a new document, my rule is run. If we jump back into our event triggers, now because we've told this to happen on all documents, you'll see that when we go through the parts, assemblies, and drawings, and this document, you'll see that that's sort of grayed out, and it tells you that it's inherited from all documents. So you've got a really nice way of controlling these things. The big benefit of having external rules is that you can deploy code uh, globally amongst a bunch of users, and you can keep that code updated. So if you need to make a change, you can actually get to the code and update something without having to go and open a bunch of files that have got the code embedded. The other nice thing about having external event triggers or external rules available as, as event triggers is that you can now run your code that you've written on files that don't have any embedded code inside of them. So this is a fantastic update. Thanks for having a look.